ES Audio. Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, a new way to save yourself from endless scrolling on TikTok. But first, it's time. As season four of Stranger Things continues to impress, we've been looking at the main villain, Vecna, and learning how the character was brought to life. Some mornings would be a few hours in and he'd ask, can you put my hand on now? And you'd start to see him switching into his character. His his voice would deepen. You know, we, we, we'd be playing like thrash and heavy metal music throughout the whole process and he, he'd be getting into this zone. And towards the end of the application, he would shift from Jamie into Vecna. Barry Gower, creative director of BGFX, is the special makeup effects designer behind Vecna and other characters in the latest season. He told us they made a full body cast for the character, which took six to eight hours to put onto actor Jamie Campbell Bower, so he was transformed into Vecna. It's this full body makeup that we did on, on Jamie. It's about 25 pieces in total, cast in a um, couple of different materials. And the majority of the application time is spent gluing it all to Jamie's skin. And with the ongoing debate over practical effects versus CGI, Barry told us Vecna is a great example of how both can be used together to create something special. About 90% of the character is pretty much practical and then VFX have, have used two tools to aug augment him slightly. So the subtle movement of the vines is visual effects, they've removed Jamie's nose, they've painted his pupils out. So it's very subtle but it's, it's used very cleverly. Barry said the cast only got to meet Vecna in the flesh for the first time while filming, so the reactions you see on screen are very much real. Some new digital wellbeing tools are coming to TikTok, which will prompt users to take a break from the app. One of them is a screen time limit, which will prompt users to take a break after a certain amount of uninterrupted screen time, which the user can set themselves. There's also a dashboard which will show data about the amount of time you spend on the app, how often you open it, and a breakdown of your day and night usage. TikTok said the changes have been brought in partly in response to a study, which found having control of their online habits can have a positive impact on teenagers' well-being. Veteran explorer Justin Packshaw is back from his latest expedition to Antarctica, where he's been to conduct scientific experiments in conjunction with NASA and the European Space Agency. It is completely pristine. So there is no living entity. There's no bacteria, there's no virus, there's nothing. So it makes for quite an interesting Petri dish. The sort of space institutes are very interested about people's physiology, but also their psychology. He and fellow adventurer Jamie Facerchilds went to the continent as a team of two to collect data on how they coped with the challenge physically and mentally, in part to prepare the space agencies for how people might cope on other planets. Justin explained what sort of conditions they were faced with as they were kite skiing through the snow, dragging 240 kilograms of kit on a sledge behind them. They were long days. We kited for about eight hours a day. It took us 59 days. Average temperature was minus 33. Coldest we kited in was minus 62. So if you think your freezer is minus 14, you know, it's, a, it's an insane prospect. Another element of the trip was to collect environmental data in part to help with climate research. Justin told us why Antarctica is such a big area of interest. 90% of the world's fresh water sits in an ice cube above Antarctica. If it melted, basically the sea level all around the world would go up by 80 metres. The remains of Europe's largest ever land-based predator dinosaur have been found on the Isle of Wight. Several prehistoric bones belonging to the two-legged crocodile-faced Spinosaurid were discovered on the island. Scientists at the University of Southampton said it was a huge animal more than 10 metres long and probably weighed several tonnes. Let's go to the ads now. Stay there to find out why buying things through Twitter is becoming more of a thing. Plus, is eating fish linked to skin cancer? Why not hit follow in the meantime? Welcome back. A study in the US suggests eating two portions of fish a week can be linked to an increased risk of skin cancer. 
Their findings were based on a study of more than 491,000 US adults with an average age of 62. They found people who typically ate around 42 grams of fish a day had a 22% higher risk of malignant melanoma, the most deadly form of skin cancer, than those who typically ate just 3.2 grams a day. Author of the study, Eun-Yung Cho, said they believe their findings could be down to contaminants in fish, like dioxins, arsenic, and mercury. Now, buying things on Twitter is about to become a lot easier. The platform is launching Product Drops, a new feature which will allow users to be notified when a new item goes on sale. Twitter is also launching a product details page, showing the price, pictures, a description of the product, and a clickable hashtag to show what others are saying about that item. And finally, a world first zero emission hydrofoil workboat has been launched. It works using electric powered hydrofoils, which are essentially wings on struts, which lift the vessel out of the water, reducing drag. It has a top speed of 34 knots and a range of 60 nautical miles, and the battery can be recharged in an hour. The company behind it, Artemis Technologies, said it produces an energy saving of 90% on comparable vessels powered by fossil fuels. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for The Leader Podcast, where we bring you the latest news and analysis from the Evening Standard in London. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. Catch you then.